Hello everybody. So today I am going to take up this demonstration in which the types of mirrors are being discussed. There are two types of mirrors, plane mirror and spherical mirrors. Spherical mirrors are also known as curved mirrors and curved mirrors can be further classified into two categories, concave and convex. This is a plane mirror and the reflecting surface of the plane mirror. This is a double layered painted surface painted with silver color paint and then another paint over it to protect the silver covering paint as well. The painted part becomes the non reflecting surface. Here I have a concave mirror whose focal length is 20 centimeters and the size or the diameter of the aperture is 7.5 centimeters. This is the painted side of the concave mirror which serves as a non-reflecting surface and this is the reflecting side of the mirror. This is the convex mirror having focal length 15 centimeters and again the diameter of the aperture is 7.5 centimeters. This is the non-reflecting painted part and this is the reflecting part of the convex mirror. Now we need to understand how to identify which is concave and which is convex mirror by various methods. The first method that I am going to introduce is the touch method. So you can see that the bulged portion over here, the outer curved portion is the reflecting surface and the internal curved surface which is non-bulged is painted. So with touch you can just feel that if the outer bulge part is the reflecting part that has to be the convex mirror. Here the internal part which is curved internally is reflecting and the outer bulged part is the one which is painted and if that is the case it is a concave mirror. Now here I have placed both the mirrors on the stands near each other and I have placed my finger in between both of them. In one of the mirrors you can see the image of the finger bit magnified this one which is a concave mirror and in convex mirror you will always find the virtual image as well as diminished image so that one is convex mirror now, here i am facing myself in front of the laptop with my front camera on I am holding a mirror in which if I bring the mirror very close to the camera I can see my magnified image and this is a virtual image because virtual images are erect and as I bring this mirror away from my camera you can see my inverted image. Now inverted images are always real in nature. So a mirror that produces both type of images real and inverted, virtual and erect is a concave mirror. So the mirror that I am holding is a concave mirror. Let's see again. Now this is a mirror which is having a large surface area which has to be of course a convex mirror and if you bring the mirror near or far away from the camera you will see that the image remains erect and erect images are always virtual and virtual images are always produced in convex mirror. So the mirror that I am holding is a convex mirror. You can also see that most of the part of laptop is seen which indicates that convex mirrors have larger field of view.
This is a plane mirror of course. We can just even see with the help of touch and if you bring the plane mirror closer or far away, again it shows a virtual and direct image. Now here I have placed a candle between a mirror and the screen. The screen is nothing but a white background. Now I'm going to move the mirror forward and backward and I'll try to catch the image on the screen. If the image is caught on the screen like it is shown in the video right now, you can see the screen that the image is real and inverted and we are able to catch it on the screen. And real images can always be produced with the help of concave mirrors. So hence this mirror which we have is a concave mirror. I can even change the location of the object with respect to screen and try to obtain the new image. If the image is obtained on the screen, it's a real and inverted image which is always produced by concave mirror. You can see a very tiny image inside the mirror and that image is virtual and direct. And we won't be able to catch this image on the screen which indicates that mirror is a convex mirror. No matter you move the mirror closer or far away from the object, you will never be able to catch the image on the screen which indicates the image is always virtual and virtual images are always produced by convex mirror. And you can also see the size of the image. The image is diminished, smaller in size compared to the candle, which is always a case with a convex mirror. Finally bringing a plane mirror in front of the candle and even if you move the plane mirror near or far away from the candle, the image is always virtual which will never be able to which we will never be able to catch it on the screen. You can see pretty well that the size of the image and the object is same. So this is a plane mirror and no image is caught on the screen. So it is virtual in nature. Thanks for watching guys.